Five and three, two, one, crescendo! Lower bracket match number nine. In red bumpers, we've got Alliance four. In blue bumpers, it's Alliance two. And these robots do not want to be sent home. Waffles beating Merge Robotics to the center line. Grabbing a second note in their robot, though. Not be able to shoot it. Waffles hit the auto stop. They're not moving anymore. Hoya Robotics goes back, grabs another note for your Red Alliance, as Red is going to lead that autonomous period with a lead of 12 points. That's a lot of notes to make up. We'll have to see how the alliances work it out. 13-10, they've assumed their position over in the blue wing, trying to stop the Red Robots from getting over to the Red Source Zone. Hoya Robotics, they don't care. They're going underneath the blue stage. So does Merge Robotics, crashing into 40-39. Your number two seed here on the technology division. Meanwhile, over on the red side of the field, Hoya Robotics dropping off a note into the amp. They're going to go pick up another note and go line up against their sub over with Merge Robotics. Amplification period started for your Red Alliance. Hoya sinks another one high in that speaker. It goes 40-39 for your Blue Alliance. Trying to shoot high. They don't quite get it. Bounces off the back of the driver's station. One more note for Villanova Wiredcats trying to go up. No amplification period on that, but that's good. 13-10 has to back off with Hoya Robotics. They're currently pinning them, or they were pinning them against the side of the field. Hoya is now free, going back to their amp. Blue Lance robots, Waffles, and 4039 trying to get one more shot. There we go. One more shot for the application period ends. It is counted as that as Waffles sink another shot into the amp for your Blue Alliance. A hit between makeshift and merge right around the blue stage. Bunch of hits this match. These robots do not want to be sent home. Once again, Alliance number two in blue and Alliance number four in red as we keep going. Alliance four is amplified again as their captains will number one catch shoot a note up high into their speaker. Here comes Hoya Robot across the field full field cycle trying to shoot a note up don't quite get it into that speaker it will bounce out as their amplification period ends merge robotics they don't care they're gonna get up on high and be good to go blue still has the lead that lead is shrinking as that amplification period is on for your blue alliance waffles sinking a note high here they go lining up again for another note the amplification period did end however they can shoot it out a little bit of a collision between those blue alliance robots underneath the blue stage 13 10s defense holding up villanova wildcats they're trying to go look for another note Merge Robotics gonna keep shooting two red robots underneath the blue stage. As you can see, these blue robots still trying to keep going. 24 seconds left in the match. 5885 trying to get around 1310. Got to figure out how to do it. We're in the last 20 seconds. They don't want to go anywhere near that stage. Both alliances to see what they can do. There goes one more shot for your blue alliance into the speaker. Only one point difference separates these alliances as Hoya Robotics goes up for the trap. They get a good trap. 1310 ready to go for the climb. Here was an amplification period. Blue Alliance trying to sneak out some last second points. Three red robots in the air, two blue robots in the air. Can they get spot level up to see? Here goes the notes going high. Won't get any connections as time expires. All right, we'll have to see who won that one in just a second, folks, when the score comes out. 93, one point separating these two alliances. All right, Alliance number two moving on in the lower bracket to match number 12, round four. Unfortunately, it means we do have to say goodbye to our Alliance number four. So please join me and give me a huge round of applause for teams number 5885, team number 4152, and team number 27.